Okay, welcome. This is part three. I would like you to try on your own numbers nine, 10, and 11. Okay, I'd like you to write the equation three different ways and then pick one of them to solve. Notice on, they give you one, because this, this question's hard. So they gave you to what to solve. They made it too easy down here. Look how easy they're giving it. They're making it for you. But I'd like you to try those three problems. Draw a unit bar, write your equation three different ways, and then you select whichever equation you want to solve. And then come back and let's do this together. So try them and then come back. You can stop the video. Let's go on. Ready? Let's look at this one. Number nine. I'm going to draw a unit bar. Good enough. It says Darby rents inline skates for four and a half hours. Look at that. The total bill is $27. How much did he pay per hour to rent skates? I'm going to block that off because I don't want to see it. Let's block that off. Look at this. They're giving me the total right there. The total is 27. How much did he, how much did he rent per hour? Well, I know it's four and a half hours. There's four hours but it says four and a half, four and a half. How am I gonna get four and a half? How about like this? There is four and a half, okay? So now I have $27 total. How much did he pay per hour? I don't know. I have four and a half of them, don't I? So I could do 27, here's one way you could do it, 27 divided by four and a half, four and a half, told me four and a half. I could write it with, I could have written it like this, okay? I could have used the fraction, the mixed number. I'm just using what they gave me, 27, divided by four and a half boxes equals how much per hour, dollar sign. You could have also written 27. Notice I'm using the dollar sign as the variable. It can be anything. Equals 4.5. Or you could have solved 4.5 times the dollar sign equals 27. I don't want that to confuse you. You could have used something other than the dollar sign. Do you see three different ways to solve that problem? How about this ugly one? 27 divided by 4.5. Shall we try that one? That one's ugly. Let's try it. I'm going to move this. Boom, makes sense. 45 into 270, how many times is it? Is it eight? Could it be eight times? Eight times five, no. Could it be six? Six times five, shall we try a six? Six times five is 30, six, 20, oh, look at that. So six, what does six mean? I look back at the question and it says, how much did he pay per hour? $6 per hour. Makes sense? $6 per hour. Let's go on. Let's do number 10. Number 10. Number 10. I draw a unit bar. It says, in an orchestra, there are five times, five times as many string instruments as percussion instruments. 
if there are 45 string instruments, how many percussion instruments are there? Five times as many string instruments, and it tells me there's 45 of them. Five times as many string instruments. So I'm gonna come over here right in the center. I'm gonna come right here, right in the center, and I'm gonna move a little bit to the left. So it's off-centered. There's two, there are five. How many percussion instruments are there? Does that look like your picture? Okay. So this could be written up three different ways. I could do 5P equals 45. There's one way. I could do 45 divided by five equals P. Well, look at that one. Look how easy, 45 divided by five, that's going to be nine. P equals nine. So there are nine percussion. Or I could have done 45 divided by P equals five. Three ways to write that one up. Let's do the last one. Hopefully you've tried it already. This last one, I'm gonna look at that. They're telling you try it that way. Let's try three ways to solve this. Oops, ready? Last one. I draw a unit bar, it's crooked. And it reads, raffle tickets are sold to 435 people attending the school fair. If six tickets were sold, per person, how many tickets were sold? So they're asking me for the total. So right away, it says what? How many tickets were sold? I don't know, so I don't know the total. It says 435 people. Well, I don't wanna draw 435 boxes, do you? No. There's 435 boxes that I've just drawn. Each of them were sold six, right? So I could do one way, two way, three ways. T divided by six gets four, oops, four, 35. I could do T divided by 435 equals six, or I could do six times 435. Does the order matter? No. There's three ways you could solve that problem. Pick one, solve, send me any questions. I'm hoping that you will find that word problems are becoming easier. Send me questions, I'll see you in the classroom soon.